Holy guacamole! Jimmy Graham is no longer a New Orleans Saint and is now a Seattle Seahawk. As first reported by Jay Glazer, uh, he was sent from New Orleans to Seattle for Max Unger, uh, along with a fourth round pick. Now, Jimmy Graham, uh, a player of uh, immense value for fantasy purposes. This is a guy that's been inside the position's top four at tight end in uh, four consecutive years in terms of uh, points per game output. A guy that's averaged right around 138 targets per season, 88.7 receptions, 1,099 receiving yards, and 11.5 scores per year. Uh, He's usually a a player that most people would take uh, as one of their first uh, two or three picks overall, but that may no longer be the case in Seattle. If you look at uh, the Seattle tight ends, and granted they weren't nearly as talented as Jimmy Graham last year, uh, the 16th most productive tight end crew in the entirety of fantasy were the Seattle Seahawks, uh, netting shy of 800 yards and just a handful of touchdowns. Now, Graham is a is a, an entirely different animal, a guy that's six foot seven. Uh, he's a Groot with a helmet on, uh, a player that Russell Wilson and him will probably connect early and often uh, together. Uh, I think Russell Wilson sees a significant uptick in value overall as well. However, this is still a very conservative offense uh, as a whole, so I would expect a little bit of a decline in receptions and receiving yards, but still he should uh, be good for around 8 to 10 touchdowns in 2015. Now, down by the bayou in Nolens. Uh, you know, there's a lot of question marks here. Maybe the Saints go out in the NFL draft and pick up a Max Williams kid out of Minnesota who's very similar in style and substance as Jimmy Graham and a cheaper option. If they don't fill that void with uh, somebody uh, you know noteworthy, I think Brandon Cooks and Kenny Stills uh, stand to benefit greatly. Uh, those two guys could see maybe upwards of seven to nine targets per game and what will be a high-flying offense in New Orleans as it always is. Uh, and in terms of Drew Brees' value, this is definitely something that will hurt his ADP come uh, draft time. Maybe not a lock for a top five pick at the quarterback position this season. Again, wild, wacky. It's the NFL. It's the offseason. And there's more yet to come.